So my favourite story in the book, Flying Over an Olive Grove, um, it's it's difficult to pick one. There's so many things that Fred Spikesley did that um, have amazed me during the years that, um, yeah, just very difficult. But amongst the ones of Charlie Chaplin and Fred Carnot's football match and a fantastic story of, of what happened after a famous FA Cup tie against Sunderland, um, my favourite one is actually when they win the FA Cup. And it's not necessarily the actual story of the activities on the field, it's what's happening back in Sheffield. Because back in Sheffield, um, unusually, the, there's a reserve team fixture being played at Olive Grove. And um, all the supporters that, that gathered in Olive Grove that day wait around right at the end of the match, waiting to find out what's happening at Crystal Palace. Um, to see if Sheffield Wednesday have defeated Wolverhampton Wanderers and the half time score comes in um, as 2-1 and they're all waiting in the stadium um, to find out what happened and there's a moment where they know it's about to come they're waiting for the telegraph to arrive and the crowd go silent and it's one of those sort of like you can hear a, a, a pin drop moments when the final score, which again was 2-1 at the end of the match, uh, is announced, which you can imagine would have there'd been a massive cheer and and celebrations in, in Sheffield. And it just reminds me of, of perhaps a movie scene um, that, that could happen based on that story. And every time I read it, it just sends like a chill down me to think that that actually happened in Sheffield. And then, the way they bring the trophy home on the train and there's people lying in the tracks all the way back from Nottingham because it's the first time the FA Cup has travelled up that particular line and people who never would have the opportunity to see the Cup back then are, are, are getting out and lying in the, the, the railway lines to see it back to Sheffield is it, it, amazing and, and Fred uh, is the main one who holds the trophy aloft on, on the, um, uh, the carriage that, that takes them around Sheffield um, uh, Earp was the captain and I'm sure he held it but, but definitely Fred is the one that is recording the newspapers as holding it aloft to the crowds uh, from Sheffield Midland Station.